Man, babes, mm. this working on commission. Gosh. Whew. It's stressful. It's so stressful. Like, you will try and convince a customer, one customer from morning to night. They will stress you, stress you, and they'll still not buy. See who is talking. Honestly, I'm looking for a real job, a job that will pay well. I'm tired. I told you not to take that commission job of yours. You refused. You told me you couldn't stand staying at home. That you needed to work. Look at you. Just take a good look at yourself. You're just stressing yourself up for nothing. No, I'm not. My sister, I need a job, you know, that will pay. You know, pay good money. It's just that, you know, my dad's condition now. He's deteriorating and I, I, I have to pay for his medical bills. His drugs are expensive, so. But the commission job he has been helping so far. He's been helping with his bills. What bills are we talking about here? You and I know that that commission job of yours hardly pay your bills. If not for that, your block-headed boyfriend. Would you have been able to meet up with your bills? Look, I don't like depending on anyone. I want to work for myself, you know, be able to make my own money and spend it the way I like. Plus, my boyfriend is not block-headed. Stop it. Excuse me. Stop it. Look at you. Don't give me your Well, there's a job opening at one of my cousin's place. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's a nanny's job. Eh? Yes. Hold on. The nanny is required to teach his daughter. Plus, guess what? The pay is good. Trust me. So you look me finish. You look me finish. BSC holder like me. Mm. You want me to go and do nanny job? Mm. I thought you used to like me, but I see you don't like me. I beg, I beg, I beg. Hey, stop it. Ah! You two, you two, the entire body. It's not solely a nanny's job. The nanny is required to be teaching his daughter. That's a teacher's job, you know. And um, my cousin is actually rich and he's generous. Mm. Yes. How much is he paying, sir? Um, it's about um fifty to seventy thousand, if I'm not mistaken. But I can talk to him to add up something for you. Trust me now. Yeah. And you know you're my best friend. I can do anything. For you can you. make him pay like hundred k. I mean that'll be better than my commission job now. You be thief. <laughs> well, maybe we can talk to him for 120. I will, I will, one million. I can, at don't least worry. I can own myself. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <gasps> Wait, I talk um, to you now. Okay, in that case, huh? I'm going to put a call through to him. But you have to get there ASAP. Mm. Before someone gets there. Yeah, call him now, call him, call him. I'm going to get ready now, sir. Exactly. Yeah, how? Tell him 100 kilo. Tell him 100 kilo, in fact. No, give me 1 million. 120. Oh, 1 million. So why do you want to work as, as a nanny who despite your qualifications and the fact that you graduated with very good results? Um, as we all know in Nigeria, good result does not necessarily determine a good job. Um, I've been searching for one for a while and it's not forthcoming. So when Tamara told me about this opening, I decided to take it. So you're actually taking the job because Tamara asked you to? No. No. I mean, um, I, I... I love kids. Uh, and I also need the money. Do you have any experience with kids? Have you taken care of any child before? Oh yes, yes, uh, I have. Um, I took care of my younger brother and my cousins. Oh my god, I was awesome with them. When their parents go out, I take care of them and they come back and thank me. So that means you don't have any real job experience with kids? I, I, I will. I will. How can I be sure you can take care of my daughter? Like I said, <laughs> I'm really good with kids, like, I'm really good with kids. I hope you know the job includes you helping my daughter with her lessons and uh, assignments. Yeah, yes, of course I know. I mean, back in school, I used to take my schoolmates, my classmates on tutorial, so to be an honor to teach her, daughter, I'm huge, huge, improving our grades because I'm a good teacher. Look, uh, I'm not really 
Look, uh, I'm not really satisfied with you, but I'm going to give you the job because my cousin vouched for you. Uh, you want to start on a trial basis and you can, you can start tomorrow. I will not disappoint you. I promise you. Your daughter's great. I promise it's going to improve. Mm. And uh, of course, it's chose to add. Hi. Hello. I mean, hey, babes. Did you tell me you were coming? Where have you been? Um, I. You know what? I'm still trying to get take this all in. Um, you should have told me you were coming. Well, I don't think it's a... Um, anyways, guess what? The what? I went job hunting and I got one. I got a job. Yay. I thought I told you I want you to stop searching for a job. We are getting married soon and I don't want you to work. Babes, I went to school and I'm sure you don't want me keeping my certificates under the bottom box and just holding my arms. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> I know you went to school, I'm not disputing that, but the thing is, I don't want you to job. You don't need to stress yourself. I have a lot to take care of, both of us. Babes, if you know the kind of person that I am, you know that I don't like being dependent. I like to work hard. I took the job and I'm going to do it, period. Okay, I know. What company is it? I hope it's a reputable one. Well, it's not a company. I mean, it's not a company. I'm actually going to be a nanny. I'll be teaching the daughter, you know, I'll be teaching her, helping her with her schoolwork. <laughs> well, um, you were in school, graduated with a first class degree, and you're saying you want to end up being a nanny. Um, I mean, it's just for the meantime. It's just for the meantime until I get something better. I told you I don't want you to work. You insisted on finding a job. Now you want to go and slave yourself for a man, his wife, and their daughter. Just because you are desperate for a job? I'm not desperate. I just want to be working. I just want to make myself useful. Moreover, my role is to be taking care of the girl and to teach her. The man is not married. Wait, he's not married? You want to go take care of his daughter, a single dad, and you want me to be comfortable with it? When I have enough money to take care of you, why do you want to do this? Hey, G. You know what? Disappointed. Oh, good evening, sir. Hey, baby. Hi, welcome. Come here. Mm How's -hmm. today? Fine. Fine? You sure? You okay? Okay, finish your schoolwork and I will go in the next week, okay? Okay. okay if you don't mind, sir, I could serve you dinner. Why don't you focus on what you're paying to do? 
Ok, ça, même du bien devant moi. Baby, you're here. I mean, you keep surprising me. Why didn't you just stop by work and pick me up instead of coming home to wait for me? Hmm? Do you have a problem with me coming here? Uh, babe, and why are you coming home this late? Oh, babe, please don't start. Please, I'm tired. I beg, please don't start. <sighs> I told you I'm not comfortable with this silly job of yours. I've made enough money and to take care of all your needs. Babe. Why would you disrespect me and go accept that job? Babe, I need the work. I can't be solely dependent on you. But I'm not complaining. I'm complaining. I want to work for my own money. Why don't you want to work? I don't want you to work. And I'm a daughter working. All I need you to do is stay at home, take care of the kids, as soon as I start coming in. Babes, babes, please. Look, even if we are married and have 100 children, I still want to work. I can't be a stay-at-home mother. I can't be a housewife. I can't just sit down in the house. I, I just can't just sit down in the house moping. It's not me. Then if you want to work, I'll get you a more responsible job. Not that low life job that you are doing presently. <sighs> DJ, have you forgotten so soon? How I begged and begged you to get me a job, but you refused? Now I get something and all you do is complain. Oh, it's below me, it's beneath me, it's nonsense. You know what? I love this job and I'm enjoying it. And I'll keep doing it until I find something better to do. Thank you very much. You love the job and yes. you're enjoying it. All right then, huh? suit yourself. How is my friend doing? And I hope she's doing her job well. Yeah, she's doing good. I mean, ever since she started taking care of Alice, things have changed. Alice has been doing great. She's better. Wow. Mm -hmm. So good to know. I hope you're being appreciative of her, and I also hope you're treating her well. What do you mean by treating her well? Am I not paying her to do the job? Uh, I know, but from the little I gathered while discussing with her, I think you've been a pain in the ass. <laughs> yes. Sounds funny, right? But true. Mm. Yes. See, yes. Kelly. Ellie is my very good friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't tolerate anyone treating her wrongly. Not even you, my dear cousin. So what are you going to do? You're going to beat me? Beat you? Of course you know I won't do that. Beat me, Beat you, okay? Who am I? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to look for a better job elsewhere for her because I can't stand no one bullying her. Bullying her? Yeah. First of all, I'm not bullying her. And secondly, if she feels like she's not being treated right, she's free to leave. Really? Of course. I mean, I'm paying somebody to do a particular You're job. You're so and, mean. Come on. I'm paying her to do a particular job and she feels like I'm not treating her right. <laughs> she can go whenever she likes. I mean, she wanted money. Kelly, you will never change. You're so mean. Go away. What else should I say? I'm paying somebody to do a job. If you don't feel happy, you can go. How is she doing? We're able to get the drugs. I don't self-medicate. I'll take her to the hospital. I'll Baby? come with you. Baby? You didn't need to help you with anything. Yeah, I have the key in my pocket, okay. so let's go. Right. Just open the door for me. All right, cool. All right.
<sighs> Look at the time. She's not yet back. Why do I have a feel she's... She's having something to do with her boss. No, no, no. I can't take this. No, no. I, 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 I can't I can't take this anymore, no. 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 She has to stop this tonight. Baby. Oh my god, you surprised me again. Why didn't you just call Hey! Call you? Why don't you check your phone, you slut? I called you several but you didn't pick up. Oh, wow, yeah. I must have forgotten it in the kitchen. Today was such a busy day. I'm so sorry. But babes... Really? That's not enough reason for you to call me a slut now. Really? You think I don't know what's going on between you and your boss? What? You've been sleeping with your boss. Uh, babe, please just stop this. I don't know where you're getting this from. You don't know what I'm getting this from. I want you to take off your harness. Is there something wrong with your head? There's something wrong with my head. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with my head. Baby, what did you do that for? I would do it again and again. Now I want you to take off that harness. Let me stop this. If Let you are not going to take this off, Let me stop it. I will take it off Let me myself. stop it. <laughs> because that's where I will Let find me. the proof. For my infidelity. Baby, baby, stop it. I should stop it. Baby, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. to you what happened to you um what i i i i was attacked by thugs thugs you see it's you i told you to sleep you insisted you wanted to go home yes i'm so sorry you, you know what I, I you can just stay in the guest room all right i will get you some painkillers all right, thank you so much, but I'm fine, honestly. Like, no, 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 no. Just go in and get some. Okay. Just go and rest. Just go and rest. All right. Yeah. I, I just thank God. You know, I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. All right. Yeah. Well, it was so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Hmm. This tastes nice, you know. Mm hmm. You've improved on your cooking. I think they changed the chef. Mm. That's true. Mm. Mm. So, girl, tell me, how are you enjoying your job? Well, good. Mm. Kelly has really improved. I mean, he genuinely showed care to me when did you hit me the other day? Did you hit you? Why? What happened? I got home late that day from work and I met him waiting for me. I mean, I was waiting for Kelly to come back with Alice because he took her to the hospital. So when I got in, I saw DJ. <laughs> he accused me of sleeping with Kelly. So he asked me to bring out my panty so he could smell it. Did you did that? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I ignored him. I wanted to go upstairs when he held me back and slapped me. In self-defense, I hit him back and I ran away. Good. So I ran to Kelly's place. And um, he took care of me. He showed genuine concern for me. 
I would deal with that guy mercilessly. Mm. You don't need to do that. I think he's just jealous. Hey, hey, see girl. You need to quit that relationship before it gets too late. <laughs> it's not gotten that bad. I'm serious. I mean, it's just jealous. Don't say I didn't want you. Stop it. It's your fault. But I mean, if he doesn't react that way, you know that he doesn't really care about you. I'm uh. working for a single guy. So there's a tendency that he'll be jealous. Maybe you're waiting for him to kill you first before oh, you will know that you're in a wrong relationship. He's just a jealous boyfriend. See, I'm not saying this because Kelly's my cousin, you know? I love him. I know you do, but please. Sorry for what happened the other day. And I don't, I don't know what going to me. You practically assaulted me. Yes, you have the audacity to come in here and tell me you're sorry. Come on, get out. No, but babe, don't, don't chase me out. I, I, I just can't stand the fact you talking give or give attention to another guy. What guy? I'm only taking care of Alice and not her father. Where is this jealousy coming from? I... I actually found out he is a very rich and handsome guy. He could charm you with it and, and you might fall for it. I'm sorry, babe. You're equally rich and handsome. Where is this inferiority complex coming from? I'm scared, I'm scared of losing you. Losing me? Yeah. <sighs> Babes, you're not losing me. I love you and you should never forget that. So, am I forgiven? On one condition. What? You stop this jealousy. It doesn't suit you. I'll try. I try to stop it, but don't blame it because I love you more. Come here. <laughs> hey, you. Kelly. <laughs> Go inside. What's up? I'm good, though, Jerry. Just go back for a walk. Well. I thought I should come and see you. How are you? I thought you should come. I'm fine. I thought you should come and see me or you came to question me about your, <laughs> your friend, if I'm treating her good. So I can't come and see you in peace again? Uh, probably more if you truly came to visit me in the house there. No problem. Okay. <laughs> What's up? I'm fine, Jerry. Anyways, I came to say thank you for taking care of her genuinely. The other day, I, I, I knew it. Had Allow to me to learn now. I knew it now. <laughs> You cannot come and visit me. Everything is about your friend. No problem. Uh... And you see the other day she left the house. Her boyfriend attacked her. That idiot did. Who idiot? Who boyfriend are you talking about? Oh, she didn't tell you what happened. She no. knew that that idiot attacked her and almost sexually harassed her. No, she, she didn't tell me that. What she told me was that she was attacked by thugs. Ooh. I think I have overspilled. No, it's okay. I mean, oh she, maybe she doesn't want to let me in on her private matters. It's okay. Not really. You know how Ellie is. She's just been very careful. And... Come on. It's okay. Hey, Bisha. What's up with you now? Well, I have food in the kitchen. The house is yours. Do so what do you mean like? now? My second name is now food. I know. I see your name. Go to the kitchen, girl. No, I'm going to go. Almost ready. You can eat it. Eat as much as you want. Why are you so cold towards me? Have I done anything wrong? I think you should be asking yourself that question. 
And for your information, I hate lies. Lies? What lies? What lies? Gosh, what's wrong with this man? One minute he's sweet, the next minute he's cold. Or does he have split disorder? Split personality disorder? Ah. It's all the food. Okay. I'm going to give it to the mother, let's give the children. Um, baby. Hmm? I, I spoke to a few contents of mine and um, I was able to secure you a job. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's strange. Babes, I've been begging you all this while to help me get a job and you refused. What changed? Um, let me say determination. Yeah, I noticed you were so determined to work, so I felt it would be nice of me to use my good office to get you a job. I mean, a better job. Oh, that's so sweet. Yay, I finally have a good job. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll talk to my boss tomorrow and let him know. Then I'll put in my resignation, maybe like months end, so to give him enough time to employ someone else. Yeah. To take care of Alice. Okay. I'll let him know. I'll let him know when I get to work tomorrow. Really? I just got your job in a multinational company and I expect you to resign immediately. Instead, you're telling me you want to wait till the end of the month? Hold on, is there something about this your job that you are not telling me? Something like what? I only said that I need to put in my resignation and give them enough notice. How about Alice? Who is going to take care of her? I need to do the right thing by putting in my resignation. I need to give them enough notice. Now I see you're out of your senses. If you don't resign from this job immediately, then this relationship is over. Babes, I didn't say I was not going to take the job. I'm going to take it, but I just need some time. What time in this world do you need? You're supposed to jump on this job that I just got you. It's a multi-millionaire company. As you listen, it's either you resign before the end of tomorrow or beat our relationship. Can I talk to you for a second? What is it? Um, I'm sorry I lied to you about being attacked by thugs. It's just I didn't want to involve you in my personal problems. You shouldn't have lied. But how often does it hit you? When he gets really upset. But that's besides the point. We've, we've made up now. Why are you in such a relationship? Uh, when do you intend to leave? When he kills you first? That's none of your business, sir. It's none of my business. Then why are you telling me about it? Why are you saying it to me? Because I feel the need to apologize about lying. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'll be resigning by the end of the month. What? You'll be resigning? How can you just come into my daughter's life and the next thing you want to leave when she's warming up to you? How can you do that? No. What kind of person are you? Is that how you treat a child? <sighs> it seems you're a very selfish person. No. Sir, please, it's, it's not what you think. Let no, me... So it's okay. I don't want to hear it. Uh, I say it's okay. I don't want to hear it. Sir, Alice! Please. Let me explain to you, please. Please, can you just allow me? What do you want? You 
see, I should give it to the end of the month, right? Fine. Let me think. Let me digest it. Let me just know what I'm going to do next. Please, can you just keep your voice down before you wake Alice? What do you care? I care. I mean, look, I'll be coming to see her from time to time. It's just that I waited so long for this job. I need to take it. Please, just understand with me. How much are they paying you? I promise I will double the amount. No. Just tell me, how much are they no, paying no, you? No, no, no. You can't pay me double the amount for just a common nanny. You are no ordinary nanny. I mean, we, we love you. My daughter and I, we, we, we've grown fond of you. We love having you around. Please don't leave. Why do you want to leave? I've gotten used to this job too, and I really do not want to leave, but my relationship is on the line. What? So, are you leaving because you found a new job or because of that, that psycho boyfriend of yours? Do not call him that or- Oh, you do what? Don't tell me you're still in love with that lunatic. Please, do not call him a lunatic. And yes, I still love him. No, you can't. I mean, I won't, I won't let you leave us. You, you, you. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I... I think I should leave. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. so excited you came today. I, mean, I didn't think you would come today after what happened yesterday. I thought you left for work. Yeah, I'm not just an engineer, but I'm the boss of my own company, so I go whenever I like. I'm off today. Um, about yesterday? Hmm. What happened yesterday? That was a mistake, right? It won't happen again, right? Really? Uh -huh. So... Is it because you're, you're afraid you'll feel the same way for me? Stop it. Stop, stop, stop playing games with me. Honestly, um, it can't happen again. I have a boyfriend. I know, but I'm madly, madly attracted to you. Oh, I've been attracted to you since the first day I saw you. I've been trying to fight it, but I just can't. I Please just understand. Stop saying that. Stop it. Not really? Yeah, don't, don't say that again. Not if I just can't. I don't know. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay, okay, you see what I was saying? You, you enjoyed it, you even kissed me back, you see? You know what? My work here is done, I'm leaving. Okay, 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 all right. Let's see, let's see. I won't do it. Look, if you do it again, I'm done. Like, okay, stop. <laughs> Just leave. Go, okay, go. All right. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Stop. That was good.
Hey girl. Hey babe, and then have mm. one song. <laughs> I think. How you doing? Now? Good though. What's up? Fine. <sighs> so what's up, Bella? Well, guess what? What? <sighs> Deji. What's up about Deji? <laughs> <laughs> See that look on your face. <laughs> he got me a job in a multinational company. He did what? Got Don't me tell me job. you're still dating that idiot. Yes, we are still dating. And he's not an idiot. Really? He's my boyfriend. So why didn't he get you the job all this while? He waited for you to start working before he got you a job. Girl, I really don't like the way that guy is trying to control every move of yours. I really don't like it. I get it. I totally understand, but I need the job and I'm going to take it. I've already talked to Kelly about it, that I'll be putting in my resignation at the end of a month. You know my dad's health condition now. His medical bills are so expensive and it's all on me, so I need something that can cover for it. Well, it's fine, but how is Kelly taking it? Not very well. He fled up. He should. <laughs> he offered to pay me double what the other company is offering. Kelly did what? Why would Kelly go that far to please you? Girl, is this something you're not telling me about? <sighs> I guess he's beginning to develop feelings for me. He even <sighs> tried kissing me. <sighs> Kelly kissed you? Oh, I mean, that's like the best news I've heard in ages. Yes. Babes. So tell me. How was it? How was what? The kiss. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutters. Nothing is happening between Kelly and I, okay? Mm. Get it out of your system. Hey, hey, okay. hey. It's not happening. Hey, okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's watch and see, okay? Nothing Keep is watching. happening. Bed see. watcher. I beg, excuse me, Jerry. What do you have in the kitchen? Go now. Go and cook. I was even tired. Oh, I'll stay there. I'll save you now. Cook, please, people. Right, I'm hungry. So, have you terminated your appointment? <sighs> I will ask again. Have you done what I told you to do? DJ, why do you like to detect the way I should live my life? Why? I mean, I explained to you that I was going to resign at the end of a month. I've spoken to my boss already about this. What do you want from me? Why can't you just understand? Do you understand that I am the man here and I get to dictate how I want my girl's life to be? Since you have ignored my request of terminating your appointment, despite the fact that I told you to resign immediately or risk our relationship, Yes. I can see. It's not that I can see you though. choose the later. I can see you choose the later. You know what? Babies, it's no. over. What? Between both of us. No, 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 babes. No, 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 babes. Wait, wait. You want to break up with me over this flimsy thing? Really, babes? You want to break up with me over this? Auntie, I'm doing my homework. Auntie. <gasps> oh. Alice. I'm doing my homework. You got everything right. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Auntie, why is your eye red and swollen? Have you been crying? Are they? Oh wow. Um, maybe something got into my eyes. 
Ouch. Yeah. Welcome. Hey, darling. How are you today? Fine. You okay? Come here. How are you today? Fine. Daddy, something entered Auntie Ellie's eye and it's rather swollen. Oh, really? Did you say sorry to her? Good girl. You know what? Go upstairs to your room and I will come to see you right now, all right? Hmm? I have something for you in the car. <laughs> Take your books. Let's go. Go upstairs. <laughs> so. You want to give me an explanation about what happened to your eyes? Um, what explanation? You know, I didn't believe what you told Alice that something entered your eyes. I know something must have happened. You've been crying or something. What happened? What possible reason could I give to you that I'll take it with this heart? It's just no, Ali, a problem shared is a problem half solved. Talk to me. I'm having relationship issues. What happened? He <sighs> found out that I kissed you? No. He gave me the ultimatum to resign from this work immediately. I tried reasoning with him to give me till month end, so I had to buy you time to get someone else. And he refused. He said he cannot be with a woman who disrespects him and won't listen to him. Okay, so is that why you're crying? Is that all that happened? How would he break up with me for something so flimsy? Oh, come on. How would he? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop crying. No. Stop crying. Maybe he's not even serious. No. Oh, come on. Stop crying. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'll take you somewhere cool so that, uh, you know, you can just forget about everything. Just ease off. You can't leave Ali's alone in the house. It's okay. We can sneak out for just a few. She will notice. Well. All right. I don't know. Oh come on, see yes. Let's Is that go. okay? It's okay. <sighs> All right. It's so hard. It's for... okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> You've barely touched your drink. I told you I don't drink. If I should drink this now, I'll be walking with my head. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I really enjoy your company. White wine. White wine. Yes. <laughs> um, Baba, can I get a more expensive white wine? DJ, is this why you broke up with me? Is she the reason you left me? This? Um, I told you we are over, right? What part of it don't you understand? Listen. You see, um, Lala here is my girlfriend. And yes. And um, we've been dating for some time now. Yes. You're joking. You're honestly joking, right? You had my place yesterday to break up with me over this flimsy excuse. Why didn't you tell me you had a girlfriend? Why couldn't you look me in the face and tell me you had a girlfriend? Really? 
So you've been cheating on me all this while? You've been cheating on me? You've been cheating on me and you, you use this sorry as excuse. No, 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 leave me alone to, to, to kill me, to break up with me. Can you please throw this bitch out of here? Who is this no, one? And, is, and, no, 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 Kelly, leave me. No, leave no, me alone. No, no, Kelly, leave no, me. no, no. Stop, stop, please, please. Please. What did you just say I should do? Oh, I'm so prepared. Oh. Okay, okay, stop. What's wrong with you? Don't you dare lay your hands on her. What's the problem? The who are you to tell me what to do with my girlfriend? Girlfriend? I thought you just said that it was over between the both of you. So who is your girlfriend? This one? Because I'm sure it's not Ellie. Just stay away from her, all right? It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. You don't want to be blessed. Just. Oh. So only no. 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 deteriorating and um, I've spent so much money sent a lot of money to him but it's not improving so I'll need to travel to the east to go and check up on him so why don't you bring him so I can take him to the hospital there are good hospital in the east I know but if you bring him he could be close to you you can be able to monitor him and when he's done with his treatment he can always go back home I don't want to stress you with my my. Family. No, no, you're not stressing me. It's okay. I'll book a flight for you, so you go and bring your dad. And uh, after he's done, you know, you can just uh, take him back. It's okay. It's not a problem. I don't know what to say. No, it's okay. It's not a problem. Just uh, make sure you take care of him when he comes. That's all. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. You finally agreed to come see me. It's been long I last saw you. Oh, but I've been sending you my photos from time to time. Haven't your daddy been showing them to you? He has, but I want to be with you, not just seeing your photos. <sighs> Don't worry, baby. I'm back for good now. Hmm? And we're going to be one happy family. Hmm? <laughs> I've missed you. So why are you here? Why are you here? Because I never thought I would ever see your foot back in this house. What can I say, babe? I'm back for good now. Really? So what has changed? Hmm? Because I remember I begged you, I pleaded with you to come back 
to me. You said no. You said you have somebody that was better than me. You cheated on me. Did you expect me to forgive that? I never cheated on you. I told you. Nothing happened. Okay, fine. I cheated on you and you were so sure of it. So why are you back in this house? Because I've forgiven you. I miss us. I want us back. Just like that. <laughs> and you expect me to welcome you with open arms. You left me with a broken heart. You left me. You even left our daughter. What's wrong with you? Come on, Kelly. You knew I wasn't any much back then. I wasn't any anything to. Why are you making excuses? Yes. So let's stop arguing over spilled milk. Come on, come sit down. Let's talk about how we can be family again. I'm back now. <laughs> You know what? I just want to think. I need to think about what I want. Your daughter is here. You can do whatever you want. But just stay, stay away from me, okay? My daughter. I thank God for Johnny Mercy. <sighs> but I really don't understand why you say I should come to Lagos. Huh? We should have gone to one of the hospitals in the East. Papa, <sighs> stop talking like this now. Hmm? Moreover, my boss insisted that I bring you to Lagos because he wants to take you to one of the best hospitals here. You deserve the best. Hey. We're not so sure of all those hospitals there. They might not really know what they are doing. So you want them to diagnose and know exactly. Hey. You see, our boss must be a very kind man. <laughs> yes, he is. Hey. Very. Oh, well, God bless him for me. Amen. Amen. Hey. Okay, no problem. Thank you, my daughter. God bless you. <sighs> Hello? Yes. Yeah, we're back. Okay. How is Alice? Oh, great, great. All right, I'll resume work. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Right. And who was that? Ellie. Alice is lying. What does she want? She called to inform me that she's back from the village. What for? <laughs> inform her that her services are no longer needed. I'm back now. I can take care of my family. <laughs> I got it. Hmm? Sure you can. Dad, uh, meet my boss. He came to take you to the hospital for checkup. Oh, sir. Ah, thank you, my son. I thank you for your act of kindness. God will bless you for me. We thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Amen. All right, why don't you just sit and wait? Let me finish what I was doing in the kitchen. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. And you'll be fine, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
Where have you been since morning? Is this how you leave our daughter in the hands of a stranger? You have no moral justification to ask me any question. You left our daughter for years, years, and then you come back questioning me? Are you not happy I'm back? I thought you said you loved me. Serena, I loved you. I loved you, but what did you do? You left me with a broken heart. And here, here I am trying to heal from the hurts you caused me. And then you just walk back into my life. I don't even know what to do. I did nothing to you. You cheated on me. I got angry and I left. I didn't cheat on you. God knows that. I didn't cheat on you. Anyway, you, you, you're free to think whatever you want. What I'm going to say to you is that if we have to make this work, you have to let go of the past. You have to trust me. Stop questioning me, please. Yes, sir. Who did you say that your man is to you? He's my boss. But it doesn't look so. It looks more like both of you are boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, Dad, he's my boss and we're good friends. There is no relationship there. He's my boss. Yes. That is a very nice man. I just want to think about it. You're a very nice man. Daddy, take your medicine. tell you that your services are no longer needed. Thank you, I am so happy you Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Don't go to her again. Do you hear me? Well, she's my nanny and she also helps her in my studies. Oh, my baby, I'm back now. Eh? I'll take over. I'll do all of that from now henceforth. Do you hear me? Be a good girl, okay? I miss you. Thank you for your services. My sweet baby. Huh? Come on, I'll help you do this. Babe, I'm so sorry I've been unable to see you since you got back from the village with your dad. How is he now? Well, his test results are out. Oh. He has commenced treatment. Okay. He's upstairs sleeping. Oh, good news at least. So tell me, how is that your idiotic boyfriend? Is he the one paying your hospital bills? Hmm? Hmm? Kelly is actually the one paying my dad's hospital bills, so... As a matter of fact, Deji broke up with me. He sees someone else right now. Deji did what? <laughs> that punk. I always knew he was up to no good. See, well, girl, if you ask me, I think you're better off with Kelly. Yes. Kelly and I are just friends. Nothing is happening between us. Look at you. Sit down there and be deceiving yourself. See, I always see the way you blush whenever I talk about him. I think you're beginning to fall in love with him. Nothing is going to happen between Kelly and I. Moreover, his wife is back in the picture. 
How did you get to know about that? When I got there today, she embarrassed me. Plus, I heard Alice call her mom. That's how I knew. Oh, goodness. Anyways, you had said Kelly is really in love with her, so I'm sure he'll be happy to have her back. See, girl, no point. you just have to calm down, okay? I can see your hurt. <laughs> just calm down and wait until you hear from him, okay? Oh, it's, it's not needed. I mean, he's been trying to call. He's been calling and calling. He's just been ignoring his calls. It's pointless. Why? At least pick his call and know why he's calling you. Hear from him first. You cannot just conclude like that. No. Where's your phone? Ellie? Take. Use my phone and call him. Put it on speaker so I can hear what he's saying. <laughs> Kelly? <laughs> Are you okay? What is uh, it? Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. What? Let's talk first. Let's talk. What? I saw Serena driving out with Alice, so she's truly back. Who told you? Ellie did. She told me Serena humiliated her the last time she came here. What? Is that why she hasn't been picking my calls? Look. Tamara, I need to talk to her, please. I need to talk to her. Well, Kelly. Ellie is truly hurt. She says she doesn't want to talk to anybody now. I think you really need to give her a little time. And you try to clear off things on the other side with her. Why did you humiliate? Early when she came to work today. I thought I told you to tell her her services were no longer needed. Oh, so you expect me to just terminate her job, her contract, her agreement, just like that? Yes, terminate it. I'm back now. As you can see, I, I got this. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm trying to respect you. I'm trying to stay calm. But respect me also. You should have waited for me to do that in a more matured way to talk to her myself. You know, I'm starting to wonder why are you getting so angry over a common maid? Ellie is not a common maid. She's a graduate with excellent grace. So don't insult her. So respect her. Don't insult her. Really? Why are you taking this so personal? Kelly, is there something you want to tell me? What I want to say to you is, I don't like the way you humiliated Ellie yesterday. So don't do that again, all right? Okay, I'm sorry. Who's there? Hey. What are you doing here? Why have you not been picking my calls? Are you seriously asking me that question? Look, we need to talk. Look, I'm busy. I have things to Busy doing what? None of your business. How is your dad? He's fine. I hope he's been seeing a doctor and uh, he's been taking his medicine judiciously. Yes. Can I say hi to him? He's resting and cannot be disturbed right now. All right. Tell him I say hi.
Yeah, so I just need the money to pick up the diamond bracelets. You know I need it for my Ashribi. <laughs> so all you have to do is just send the money to my account. Hmm? I'll be picking some things for Alice too. <laughs> right? It's okay. I'll see what I can do about it. <laughs> we need to leave here right now. Why? What? We just got here. I'm leaving. Where are you going? Hi, Serena. Tamara, <laughs> what are you doing here? Huh? What does one come here to do? To give myself a treat, of course. <laughs> sure, you can join us. Is this Kelly's? Mm hmm. Huh. You want this, your cousin. Ellie, <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, Ellie! What do you want? Why don't you go back to her? I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Look, if you don't talk to me, I will create a scene that you won't like. So let's talk, please. You have two minutes. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't tell you that Serena was in town. She came when you were away and... I thought you had just so much on your plate. and I didn't, I didn't want to just disturb you. And I'm sorry for the way she talked to you, the way she humiliated you. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. But you're still in love with her, aren't you? No, I mean, look, I loved Serena and I thought I would never love another woman until I met you. But right now, I, I really don't know how I feel about her. I, I'm confused. It's obvious you're still in love with her. Good luck with your relationship. Look, I mean, you know I won't let you go, right? You know I won't let you just walk out of my life. Where's Kelly? She'll be back by now. Oh, you didn't hear him when he said he was going to use the restroom? Restroom since then? But he just left. <laughs> I have to go find my baby. Serena! Ser Serena? Ooh. Did you want to put me in trouble? Baby, I miss those ass. Behave! Huh? Look, don't come here and spoil my plans. Do you hear me, Gerard? If I need your services, I will contact you. In the meantime, if you see me in public, pretend like you don't know me. Huh? You don't know who might be watching. Okay, okay, okay. When do I get to see you again, babe? Okay, I'll come see you this weekend. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure you bring enough mula, okay? No. No, I will. Huh? Okay, let me go back before Kelly starts looking for me. All right, babe. All right. <sighs> Kelly is not yet back. Didn't you see him in the restroom? Mm -mm. Oh, here he comes. Sorry for keeping you ladies waiting. I ran into an old friend and I was catching up. What did I miss? Okay, because uh, I went out to look for you and I didn't see you. You did? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, you're eating my food? Yes, I got here famished. So I have to help myself. You have to reorder for another plate for yourself and a takeaway for me. Oh. You know I love food. Takeaway for you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you came back so soon. Yeah. What happened? Um, I changed my mind. I couldn't think of leaving you all by yourself. Uh -uh. I thought you might be lonely alone. You know? I can take care of myself. You don't have to spoil your phone because of me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my daughter, I would like to go back to the village. I'm very much okay now. Yeah, I can see. You're fine. But Dad, you need to take your medication judiciously and ensure that you check your BP and your blood sugar regularly. Okay. 
and you also take your medication. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, my daughter. Lord will bless you for me. Your children will do what you are doing for me. Okay. So you eh? Amen. Thank you. Maybe by weekend now, you can go back. Okay. We can. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> What's up? What? Is Serena in? No. She's oh. gone out. That's better. That's better. <sighs> Why is it better? <laughs> yeah, because I came to discuss something with you. Okay. So let me first of all tell you thanks for bringing Ellie to the restaurant as planned. At least our plan worked out. Yeah, sure it did. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope you made good use of the opportunity. Yes, I did. I made good use of it. What do you want to talk to me about? Yeah, it's about Serena. You see, the other day at the restaurant, I saw a guy spank her on her buttocks. The moment she saw me and she knew I was watching them, she ran out with the guy immediately. I think... What? Yeah, I think Serena just came back to play you. Just better be uh, careful. I... I know you want Ellie and I to be together, but are you sure? Are you sure of what you're saying? I am super sure of what I am saying. What I'm telling you is what I saw. But if you don't believe me, well, that's your business. But please, I beg you, don't just lead Ellie on and break her heart. Because if you do, I will not be happy with you. Ellie is so dear to me. Please, Kelly, don't break her heart. I beg to take my leave now. Why? So soon? Yes, because I have some other things to catch up with. Do tell Alice I'll drop by some other time. Okay. Don't think I'm happy with you. I'm just taking this drink. Let it not be like I came to a friend's house and I'm taking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I've already said I'm sorry now. Huh? I'm sorry. You know I'm not supposed to be talking to you, right? Okay, but you're talking to me. Oh my God. Is there someone else in the room? Sorry. It's your dad I came to see, not you. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. He has gone back to the village, yo. I can give you his address so you can go and look for him there. It's not too late now. Since when? Yesterday. Is he done with his treatment? Mm-hmm. His BP, his blood sugar is down, but he'll be coming occasionally to do his checkup. Well, thank God at least he came around for his treatment. Yeah. I'm especially grateful to Kelly for all his help. I thank him for everything. Yeah. Talking about Kelly, how is your relationship going? Well, Ellie, I fell in love with him and just sad that I can't be with him. It's not happening. Um, Ellie, you know Kelly doesn't love Serena. Yes. She's only but a mother to his child. And you don't expect him to send her away just like that. But I pray someday soon he'll get to see her true color. What do you mean? Serena is two-faced. She never did love Kelly genuinely. Trust me. Oh, please. I'm sure you say anything just to get me to understand that because you want Kelly and I to end up together. Sigil, I am sure of what I am saying. And I have warned Kelly never to break your heart. And he dares not. The heart wants what it wants. Kelly wants Serena. 
Ellie. I can see you have genuinely fallen in love with Kelly. But please, don't you give up, girl. Don't. Who knows? Yes. You guys might end up with something. Staring Together. Together. Be loving him and believing that we don't love him. I beg. Mm -hmm. What is it? Talk to me. Dad, will my mom leave us again? No, sweetheart, I, I don't think so. Yeah, so now our family is complete. Yeah. So now I can show my mom to my friends and my classmates. Sure you can, sweetheart. Daddy, I need a baby brother or sister that I can play with. You know what? I can promise you you're going to have a baby brother or sister, but not now. Why? Tell mom to give birth to another baby. All right. I'll do that. I'll tell her. Hmm? Yeah, Daddy. Good. You happy now? All right. High five. No, 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 no. This cannot be. Oh, God. I can't be pregnant. How could this have happened? I took all my pills. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Kelly cannot find out about this. Oh, God. He will know this is not his baby. What am I going to do? Oh. Okay. I'll pick the sickness of malaria. And maybe in a few weeks, I'll tell him about it. <laughs> that way he would think the baby is his. And he will have no choice but to come back to me. Oh my God. <sighs> oh, this is perfect. Baby, you're a genius, oh, Serena. <laughs> well, I've submitted your CV to one of my contacts, and uh, he was impressed. He's giving you a job in his company. I shouldn't have. I made you lose a very good job, so I had to get you something equally good. I could have gotten a job for myself, no matter how small. I know. I just wanted to help. Because I care about you. Hi, Alice. She's fine. She says she wants a baby sister or brother. <sighs> Ali, I I want to have a child with you, but I just don't think it's going to be possible. Alice insists she she wants her mother back in our lives. Maybe you should give her what she wants. Then what about you? I'll be fine. I'm a big girl. Look, uh, you know I love you very much, right? And it's crazy I realized that I, I still love Serena too. I'm just confused, I don't know. One moment I, I don't want to lose you, the next moment I want to grant Alice's wish. I know it sounds crazy. I, I just need time to think. I've, I've paid enough money into your account. You can get whatever you want. You should be starting work by next month. I will come and see you from time to time. I don't need your money. I know. But I gave it to you freely. You, you didn't ask for it. Take care of yourself.
Hey, baby. How you doing? What are you doing here? How do you know my place? I followed you the other day. Why are you touching me? What? I really do like you, baby. So? Please leave me. I'm not ready for a relationship right now. Please. 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 Stop, Gerald. I'm not ready for a relationship. Please. No, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is it? What's going on here? What, what, what are you doing here? You need to leave now. Who is he? And why was he touching you like that? Look, look just go. Please, just leave me. Check what? You, you think, oh, wow. Really? What are you doing here? You need to leave right now. Who is he and why was he touching you like that? Wow. Says the guy that has a woman living in his house and then you think he has the authority to come to my own house and question me? Really? I leave you for, for just a few days. Just a few days and you quickly forget me? You've moved on? Now I know you never really love me. You never really care about me. Completely disappointed in you. Moaning Ellie's name while you were making love to me. Who is Ellie? What are you talking about? Isn't she Alice's nanny? What do you mean I kept mourning her name? <sighs> Kelly, don't get me angry. Have you been sleeping with Ellie? No. So why were you calling her name all true? I'm sorry, I don't know. I've been stressed very, very stressed lately. Maybe I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you banging on my door? Am I owing you? What are you doing here? I'm just here to give you a sound warning. Leave Kelly alone. We're about to get married. And guess what? We're expecting our second baby. Wow. How nice. I have nothing to do with Kelly. Of course you do. Then why does he call your name when he's making love to me? He does? Look, let me just tell you something, Ella or whatever it is you call yourself. Kelly's just using you and he's gonna dump you because you're a useless side chick. He's mine. He's taken. He will never be yours. Wow. That's a lot of information to take. Thank you anyways. So now, why don't you take your ratchet ass? I your fake as we and get out of here. <laughs> I've never had sex with Kelly and I don't intend to. Good luck with the baby. Why did you send me this senseless text? Is that why you now stalk me? Please talk to your girl or whatever you call her. Stop stalking me too. Coming to my house to harass me. That's you moan my name when you're sleeping with her. How is that my business? What? Did she say that to you? Well, she says she's pregnant for you. I guess I'm tying the knot soon. Pregnant for me? How can she be pregnant for me? We're not having sex. We're not making love. Well, how, how, how can, in fact, it's you. You are the one pushing me away. Don't blame me. Don't blame me for that. Moreover, she confirmed that you guys are sleeping together. No. I mean, yesterday I, I was I was drunk. I I I got home. I 
I thought it was you. I thought it was you in my arms. I think that's why she said I was mourning your name. Look, we, both of us, it's not going to happen. It can happen. As much as it hurts, I'm going to move on. So should you, okay? So that's it? Yeah. You just move on with another guy, that's it? That's how you treat me? Which guy? What other guy? <laughs> Look, just, I just wish I could even, you know, hook up with Gerald. But you I just... can't dare. Don't even try that. And why can't I? I mean, you hooked up with your Serena, so why shouldn't I? Look, yesterday was, was crazy for me. I, when I saw you and Gerald, I, I was hurt. I, I went to the bar, I had, I had a few drinks. And that's what happened. That's why I think I was mourning your name. And, you know, I tried to rekindle my old flames with her, but it just couldn't work because I just can't stop thinking about you. You are, you are my heart. I love you. I love you, Ellie. How about Alice and her wish? I will just find a way to make her understand, but I, I, I can't grant her her wish. Look, don't do this to me. I hope you're not deceiving me. I, I can't handle it. Ellie, I love you. Ellie, I love you. I love you with every breath I take. I can't live without you. I need you in my life. I can't do anything without you. Can't you understand? I love you. Please. I love you. I feel the same way about you. Small fry is trying to take my Kelly away from me. So why not get as much money as you can get from him? After all, you don't even love him. Duh! That's the plan. Look, I have to marry Kelly so that when I divorce him, I can get a whole lot of money. <laughs> you know Kelly is really loaded now. I can't just manage his, the change he wants to give to me. Wait, wait, wait. So what are you going to do now? I want to silence that bitch. And I want you, Gerard, to do that dirty job for me. No. No. I can't do that. I'm not a murderer. I can't do that. Really? I can't do that. Gerard, you can't do it for me? No. I'm not a murderer. I can't do that. I can't. Tell me all of this. I can't do that. You okay? You look pale. I don't know. I feel very nauseous and I've been vomiting all day. I'm sorry. Look, uh, we need to talk. Don't you think it's too early to tell? No, I think I can feel him. Anyways, what did you want to talk about? Look, uh, I think I'm in love with someone else. I really wanted this to work. I tried, but I mean, I tried. Because of Alice, I really wanted it to work. But I... I just can't. I'm sorry. It's her, right? It's Ellie, isn't it? Yeah. I thought 
thought you said you'd never love anyone else the way you love me. I did. But then you left. You left and things changed. I swear, if you had come back right before I met Ellie, I, I would have gladly welcomed you into my life. All these years, I have never been with another woman. I never even thought I was capable of loving anybody again until Ellie came along. I, I am really, truly sorry. Please understand. <laughs> <laughs>